hey guys today we will explore how to implement uh, year to date month month to date right ytd mtd uh, qtd concepts using set analysis in click okay so i have this um, simple data set uh, sales with uh, other uh, calendar uh, fields so let me select a particular year 2017 and this gives me my overall sales for that year okay now you could see i have already written a uh, hard coded set analysis over here to show me the sales for uh, 2017 uh, january 1st to 5th january right for this five days so i have a date picker here let me select those five days you could see the sum of sales is 11202 right for this five days so which is what we see over here so now if i want to automate this let's see how to do that So now let me select that particular date, which is my 5th Jan. Okay, so this returns sales only for that date, whereas we need the, uh, the sales starting from that year. So 1st Jan 2017 till that date, 5th Jan, right? So what we need is this 11K, not the uh, sales for that particular date. So let's see how to automate that over here. So we are going to create a similar formula to replicate the same. So sum of sales, <clears throat> my set comes here, curly brace, angle brace. So it's going to be order date is equal to, again, curly brace within double quotes. I'm going to write my actual formula, which is going to be dynamic. So it starts with dollar. I'm going to evaluate something over here. So, so we are going to split this into multiple halves and we are going to open this. Okay. So this is going to be a string greater than or equal to, and then this portion is going to be automated part again, a string less than or uh, equal to, and then this date portion. So we are going to concatenate all these um, uh, different uh, parts right so i will give this half into a single quote so greater than or equal to i want to use ampersand to concatenate these okay so now the part is i should get the year start so i have selected 2017 so i should know what is the first day of this year right so for that i will use my year start function okay so in one of our earlier video we explored in detail of all this uh, start and end date uh, functions okay if not watched please have a look at those video before proceeding further okay i will share i will share the link in the card and the description so what it does is year start of max of my order date so when i say max it's going to take the maximum of this order date when nothing is selected it's going to take whatever is the maximum value or if i select in this case i have selected 5th jan so this is going to uh, return 5th jan the max date from that i am going to get the year start okay so i append that over here and then i am present my another string portion less than or equal to followed by am present so now i need my end date so end date is nothing but my max of order date okay So I'm adding an equal to over here to evaluate this entire function. So now, as you could see in the bottom, so we have got a similar structure of uh, similar to this, right? What we had earlier. So within double quotes, I was able to see greater than or equal to my start date, less than or equal to my end date. Okay, let me remove this. So let's have a look. Okay, so we got 11K, right? So which is nothing but the YTD for this selection. Okay. And now, 
let me select some other day let's say 23rd uh, or I'll start from 1st Jan to 23rd okay it's 142k so if I select that date 23rd February alone so I could see there is no data for that but it still returns of the YTD right so it should be beginning of my year till 23rd February okay or if I select month February you could notice here when I selected this particular month right so this sum of sales returns only for the month of February and even here it, it shows for the month of February which is not correct right ideally it should start from beginning of this year um, yes it starts from beginning of our year and ends till the a max date of February which is 28th February but whereas this is overridden by our selection right so we have to ignore the month selection okay so if I do that so now what I get is 151k which is nothing but the total sales starting from 1st Jan till March okay so 1st Jan to uh, February right so 1st Jan to February we get 151k which is now matching with this right so the point is whenever we implement uh, YTD or MTD right so we are going to exclude all the other calendar fields over here so that it is immune of this selection so when I select February this shows only for February whereas here we see the sum of both Jan and February till date right so let's add all these fields so to ignore a field we can either say year is equal to blank or I can simply say year comma okay both are the same so I'm ignoring year month quarter month year we basically whatever date related fields we have we can ignore uh, all of those okay <clears throat> so now we got uh, we have implemented YTD let me clear this month selection so when I select 2017 what I see here is the entire data for 2017 right so it's nothing but the beginning of the year till the end of this year okay till 31st December or if I select a particular date let's say May 17 okay it looks like that date doesn't have any data over here but what we see here is starting from Jan 1st till May 17th okay so that's YTD for us so another step is <coughs> to make it even more elegant right so instead of uh, having the uh, formula directly within the expression we can capture it in a variable and we can use it over here so what I have done is I have created the this variable one is the V current year start which is nothing but the year start of my max date and the V current year end which is the end date of my selection right based on my selection or if nothing is selected by default it's going to take the max date so I have these two variables V current year start and V current year end okay so let's replace this formula with our uh, variables let me get my variable names so we current year start we current year end okay so dollar of my variable name so I'm going to evaluate this again dollar of my end variable okay so you could see in the bottom it is both the variables are evaluated so I could see the start and end dates right 
so you this is using a variable so i am using dollar of here to evaluate this within this uh, dollar okay so i am evaluating these two variables and if you have noticed it when i define the variable i have not given equal to over here and we have clearly uh, explored the role of equal to in an, in another video right so how what equal to makes a difference while we define a variable right so here we are not going with equal to instead we are evaluating it on the runtime okay so now i hope we understood the ytd right so this is for current year ytd okay for my selection so what i selected is uh, 17th may so now for the same period what if i want to compare it with my previous year okay so my previous year is going to be 1st jan 2016 versus 17th may 2016 right so for the same time period i want to compare the sales so i'll take a copy of this the one with the variables so i have got two variables uh, already created so one is v previous year start another is v previous year end okay so again these functions are already explored in detail in our uh, month start uh, the date start date end video okay please do have a look so let me replace this replace this so we could see we have got the start and end date for our previous year right for the same range 1st jan to 17th may so now what i see here is the ytd of previous year last year ytd for the same time period okay it's 193k right we can quickly validate it so 2016 1st jan to may 17 should return 193k here some offsets okay which was matching with our earlier value here let me undo it 193k right so this is how we implement uh, current year ytd and previous year ytd okay similarly we can also implement the same for uh, mtd which is nothing but the month to date right so i have the variable created so we current month start we current month end so let me replace that so this is going to give me so since i have selected 17th may so it's going to start from the first day of that month right so it's just just first may so from first may till that date 17th may so which is mtd month till date right so this is my current year mtd similarly i can also do it for the previous year so we previous year month start v previous year month end okay so for the same time period for the previous year we can see what is the value so we can compare side by side so which is 2016 first of may 2016 17th of may 2016 okay so this is my previous year uh, mtd okay and we can also <coughs> do it for qtd current year qtd and uh, previous year qtd okay so we current quarter in we current quarter start okay so start end so we have selected may which falls into second quarter so the beginning of that quarter is 1st april right so it automatically goes to 1st april till this date so which is the qtd for the current year 2017 
okay so now let's do it for previous year v previous quarter start v previous quarter end okay now we could see it starts from 1st april but the previous year 2016 and the ends with 17th may 2016 okay so, so so that's how we get the qtd for previous year okay i'll just quickly show a pic of all the variables defined over here so we could see the month start year start and how to get previous year at using add year function so everything uh, we have covered in detail in our previous videos uh, it looks like a bug over here i couldn't visualize it properly so the quarter start function add year function month start year start so okay so these functions are critical to implement all this ytd mtd um, qtd logics so hope we got a, a basic understanding of how to implement all this ytd mtd using set analysis and click right please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching